Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to probably the first video that I am recording in 2020. It's been a while, um, but if you've watched maybe some of my previous plan with me's, then you know that I actually started a new job in January. So January the 2nd was my first day and it kind of just went downhill uh, from that point. I was really, really sick. I was in um, Amsterdam, I think the day before, and I just got really, really sick that week. And I ended up actually not going into work on the Friday. I think I worked from home on Friday and the week after I was off for so many days. And I think it just took me a while to kind of get over that. So yes, I haven't really been planning as much, um, but I thought I would come back today just to do my 2020 sort of planner stack um, and go over kind of what I used last year, what worked for me, what didn't, and what is new for this year. So if you want to see um, what my planning I guess set up look like last year and my plans for this year keep on watching right so my 2019 planner stack pretty much just consisted of three main elements i have got the hardbound erin condren um planner and i think this was just in the neutral no actually it's the colorful i think um the erin condren life planner in the colorful vertical no colorful horizontal and then the deluxe monthly um colorful as well so i'm going to talk you through what i use for each one so starting off with my hardbound planner i actually want to show you the first erin condren that i ever used and this was my 2018 um planner and i actually got this in a subscription box i think it was for at home with nikki and i you I only started using it in let's see around yeah so around sort of September you can see I really didn't do much apart from you know a few little stickers some washi tape um and I just this is when I just started planning so this for example was my graduation um it really was pretty much just for the most part of it blank um so I just used that and then I started to then get into stickers. And this is actually the year that I was delving into making my own stickers. So these are all my own stickers that I'd created. Um, and I just started to play around and I started to find my kind of way of planning. So that's kind of what started everything. Um, and then I knew that I definitely wanted to incorporate the Hardbound Planner in my 2019 setup. But I didn't know exactly how because I also really wanted a life planner, which I did obviously get. So I decided to actually use the Hardbound Planner as my work planner so um pretty much I just had kind of like my work uh important dates for my work so I work sort of I used to work uh with a lot of conferences and stuff so I had to have those down I had like my birthdays um bank holidays or work birthdays bank holidays things like that um didn't really do much in terms of like decorating this there wasn't a lot of stickers well there wasn't any stickers to be honest with you pretty much I would just use it like this so I'd have all my to-dos for the week like it was just very basic and it was just extremely, extremely functional. So I continued using that for work up until the day that I left. Um, and then what started happening was I then just used it for just like daily lists and things like that. I'd use my life planner as kind of um, to memory plan and then my hardbound would be used just for like to do's. So I used that right up until December um, and kind of use this to then be able to memory plan in my um horizontal so absolutely love this unfortunately i didn't actually carry this over into this year but you'll see what i kind of replaced it with but i absolutely love this hard down panel and i don't feel like it gets enough love it's so compact and cute wasn't the biggest fan of the cover i did really love this painted petals from last year this is also just a sticker that i stuck on didn't come with the planner um but yes this has been through thick and thin with me it also has this really cute rose gold like um i don't know what you'd call this just just the uh i don't know the pages uh i also did stick some dots from i think daisy and divine a shop on etsy which i used for the front um but yeah so this has had a lot of love and this is in the woven wonders print i don't know if they have these this year anymore actually i think they might do i think they've changed it a little bit but uh yeah really love this and would totally recommend it for anyone that doesn't maybe want to use as many stickers or is just getting into planning on to the next planner that i use which if i'm completely honest with you i didn't get a lot of use out of this and this is one of my goals this year to make a lot more use 
it is a deluxe monthly planner and I bought this as you can see to use as a budget planner so I um let me just go in I kind of used this page as like full-time paychecks commission days so like when I was going to get my bonuses through uh, payments for my LISA my lifetime ISA which is just kind of like an sort of an investment scheme in the UK and then my stocks and shares ISA payments so I just dotted them around and I to be honest I didn't really reference this page so I want to make more use out of this page this year for sure this was meant to be my monthly income overview. As you can see, all I did was put the stickers down and didn't do anything else. Um, those are the stickers I made. I just started to initially use this just to put like my monthly bills. Um, and then I would have like my January budget, sinking funds, um, additional income, online orders um, that I've made. Kind of did that for the first month, similar to the second month. I just wasn't keeping up with it that much. Um, <clears throat> and then I think in March, I continued to do that quite well. And I used to just make all of these um, sort of budget kits myself. My New York City budget, I didn't actually even fill in what I actually spent. So I just kind of, this was just something that I just was not great at keeping up. I really like this kit that I made, actually. Um, so yeah, you can see that I kind of did keep up for a little while. This spread, I was a lot more um sort of consistent with and i think sort of towards the middle of the year i did really well with with keeping up um let's go into june so yeah june was a good month i definitely made sure i kept up to date with june um and i loved like tracking my budget and checking in every week and that's definitely something i want to do more this year so i did my transaction logs um similarly with july just gonna go through it quickly to show you guys um, and then I think when I stopped working in July, that's when things kind of went a little bit downhill. Um, August was still a good month that I did plan in. But I just, because I wasn't getting regular paychecks, you can see I didn't even fill in the transaction log for this month. Because I wasn't getting regular paychecks, I just didn't plan. It was just kind of, I just spent what I needed to and when I needed to. I've always been quite good with spending money. I've never really spent excessive amounts of money. So it wasn't like I had to have a budget because I just didn't really spend. So... I did put like my Dave Ramsey's modified baby steps at the back and my 2019 financial goals, which I obviously didn't check in with online purchase tracker. And I think that's it. So, and then I just had a few of the sheets that I'd printed. So it, I didn't keep up with this and I am really disappointed in myself because it's important and I'm already slacking with my January budget, which is my plan for this weekend to sort out. And I probably will try and film it if I can. So yes, that was my 2019 budget planner. Didn't didn't give it a lot of love and i'm hoping this year i can right on to the big mama ship of all planners this is my 2019 life planner and i just got the cover that says 2019 planner i've seen a lot of people on instagram do this um, and i did order another one that said 2020 so when i finish my 2020 planner i can also put that on the cover so just flipping through this, it's really funny because I was flipping through this the other day and I just noticed how much my planning style evolved and changed. Um, at the start, I didn't really know what I was doing. I mean, this is my uh, overview year at a glance and pretty much it's just similar. Work holidays, holidays abroad, bank holidays and then full-time paychecks. Um, filled this in and I didn't even end up doing anything with it. Towards the end of the year, I started to put which kits I used, uh, which is something I do want to do this year just because... Um, it's good to reference so these are from my etsy shop i will have a link below if you'd like to purchase them um yeah you can kind of see how basic and boring january looks i didn't really do anything and i didn't use any kits i kind of just used any stickers that i had um and that kind of continued um i was using like plan with myra printable kits that i just sort of printed myself and then i started to get a bit more involved in kits um and just start trying different things i'd never really done stuff like this before with stickers so it was just really finding what i liked and what i didn't like so yeah i'm gonna just flip through um one thing i really struggled with this year was finding kits that matched you know i love this kit actually i think this one was a plan with myra um kit yeah just finding stuff that matched with the colorful and that's one thing oh i love this page um one thing that i really struggled with and i was just kind of really excited to get a new uh life planner this year because i knew oh God, this is a hideous spread um i knew that i wanted to have a neutral so that i could just use any kit for any week and not have to think about color matching but this one i tried to using some happy planner stickers um I don't know what was going on here. I was clearly going through a washy crisis. Um, 
but yeah i just i look at these now and i'm just like this was so boring and i was trying to like be creative with lettering and stuff like that um didn't really use any washi apart from the stuff that came in the kits that i had um this was really cute this was actually my birthday week i really really like this i just wish i'd covered the top because it just looks so bland i'm gonna just show you that so i really like this week um I don't remember where I feel like I actually have this recorded yeah I must have this recorded because I absolutely love doing this planning this week out um and if there are any particular weeks that you want to see more close-ups of do let me know and I can send you a picture on Instagram um but yeah just more sort of kits that I was I was starting to get into kits at this point and a lot of my kits were printables these pretty much all the stickers that you see here the boxes and stuff bar like that one which is our own Condren, I would print on my silhouette and just cut out and kind of make my own monthly kits because it can be quite expensive. And yeah, you can kind of just see how my planning style evolved to start utilising kits. I started to put washi at the top, which I really liked. Um, started using sort of the Coffee Monsters Co. stickers and washi on, you know, those strips there. I really liked this week, actually. I think this was planning Choco. Um yeah just this was kind of cute with the fashion girls i know a lot of people don't like the fashion girls but i think they're kind of cute in moderation uh moving into september i absolutely love this monthly kit this might be from bling bling planner it's either from bling bling planner or planning choco um a very cute september was quite a busy month um but yeah i really really like this and then i used i really like this i liked how i incorporated this sort of um eucalyptus print from Erin Condren their washi tape I need to actually use that more because it's such a pretty print but it's just where I don't have like kits to match I'm just always struggle with that so yeah I had two weeks well no this week I didn't really use a kit I just used leftovers from other kits and kind of made my own um, and I continued to do that the week after and the week after that I absolutely loved this this week I don't know if I recorded it actually I think I didn't but pretty much a lot of the elements like these were from Cozy Paper Co I used a whole bunch of Cozy Paper Co um date covers and little boxes um and just kind of made my own kit from what i had left love these little strip sort of strip headers that i got from co's paper co as well in a grab bag these are just the scripts from my shop likewise with the no spend um had this really cute washi actually from michael's when i went to america i got like a set of really cute washi and this was one of them and it's i don't even know if you can properly see but it's just speckled with gold foil and then like a pink background moving into october so this is what october looked like a little bit less uh sort of crazy with the top washi i think i just went through months where i just wanted like a full-on kit and then sometimes i just wanted it to be a bit more like more white space love this kit this was a really cute one um and i started to use a bit more deco as you can see i didn't really use deco before but i really started to get into using deco this was a really cute kit and it was actually the first time that i'd used any simply gilded washi which was exciting i used um this one from one of the sub boxes that i think this was actually the month the first month i'd got a sub box in on october which was fun and um, that was like a new york theme which is just gorgeous i really miss new york um and i will be going back for work this year uh, and then we had like the pink, I love this washi and I loved this kind of like stationary themed um, deco. Um, we had kind of like the Halloween sort of theme and I think, yeah, then the November kit. And I think this one was actually Halloween week. Yeah, very, very, very cute. So I, I did, I did really get into deco as you can see. Oh, I love this one um again i got to use some of my simply gilded and this was december not a lot went on in december actually i think when you're not working it's really hard for me anyway i found it quite hard to get into the christmas spirit because i wanted to do loads of christmas shopping for family and do loads of stuff but when you're kind of on a budget because you're not working and you're not sure when you're going to start working it just it's difficult um but of course i've got a job now so i'm very grateful and i can't wait for christmas again it's my favorite time of the year love this washi got this from a d stash on facebook again simply gilded starting to get into the christmas kits um this one was really cute and we're going into just the week before christmas i love this i did like a whole little deco thing down here and then this was actually christmas week super cute 
and then this was my project management study plan i'm a project manager for those who don't know um and i just i was trying to do a qualification and i didn't finish it i just need to actually do, take the exam so i was just tracking when i did my studying this was meant to be a christmas gift card obviously it didn't work um coloring page contacts yeah that was pretty much it i've emptied out the pockets there was just stickers in there before that's what the back of the cover looks like for anyone wondering and you can actually choose the colours that you do. So yeah, that is my complete planner stack for 2019. I had my Erin Condon Life Planner in the horizontal. I had my budget planner, um, which was just the colourful, uh, yeah, colourful deluxe monthly. And then the hardbound, uh, the hardbound. <laughs> I was thinking, what else was it called? I think it's just called the hardbound. Like, I don't know what the exact size is, but it's definitely way smaller, as you can see, than the life planner so yes let's get into my 2020 stack so the first element of my 2020 stack is an exciting new addition i have the erin condren planner folio system and inside um i only have two at the moment but i decided to get and i think if you've seen any of my hauls you would have seen this so um it's not really a sneak peek it's you've kind of had a sneak peek sorry already um i decided to get the daily petite planners which I have to admit I have been loving at the start of the year I did struggle a little bit because I was so sick and I just was not in the mood to plan I didn't want to write things down and I wasn't really doing much I was just kind of fulfilling Etsy orders and going to work every so often because I wasn't well so I can just show you the first part of the year pretty much and it's quite hard when I'm at work all day because I haven't got much to write in it so pretty much like you can see on the 4th of January I just wrote sick day Sunday sick day didn't really do much but in the last couple of weeks um let me show you when it started to get a bit more busier so yeah you can kind of see I don't use any stickers in this um I don't know if I plan to I think this one kind of is just my more functional planner um I haven't even done any of the monthly spread but you can kind of see I did put a little meal prep sticker for my shop but I'm starting to break it down I just wanted to see what worked for me and what I needed to improve on so I put work at the top and I am just putting my meetings down um I think for me where I have sometimes meetings that are quite early in the morning to have them written in my planner and just to know right you've got a 9am meeting you need to be at work before 9am or sometimes I have an 8.30am meeting so I need to be there before so it's good to just track that what I'm having for lunch and then what I'm doing in the evening and any to do's um and then I was just tracking if I was having green tea um I have also decided in the last couple of days to actually start journaling. So in the bottom or on this little side bit, I'm going to start writing how my day was, what I did. Um, and then I'm also going to have a grateful for section where I just basically write about um, for the week as an overall, what is something that I'm really grateful for? And I will show you in my life planner. I have started tracking that in a really cute way. So this week, for example, I'm grateful for having support around me when I need it. And I just thought that would be a really nice way to kind of continue my gratitude on throughout the year. And when I look back or if I'm having a hard day or a hard week, I can kind of look back through the weeks and see everything that I should be grateful for. And, you know, and hopefully that can cheer me up. So I do have um, one. I've got four of them. So every kind of three months. This is the January to March one and then the April to June. I can fit them all in. Oh, you do also get stickers as well um can fit them all in because you've got the four bands but i just decided to keep two in there i don't currently travel with this but i i could um and if i was going to be out all day and knew that i needed to to plan stuff then it's definitely a really good size to take around and i love it um i was a bit concerned about how this kind of bends as you can see but when you take it off it kind of just goes back to normal within a couple of like about a minute or so so that's fine but this has really been working out for me and i'm excited to start utilizing this i think it's going to really make and this year a lot more productive and I think sometimes with the life planner you just tend to be a bit more what's the word like you want everything to look perfect so it's nice to have a planner where you don't need to and I think having the hardbound planner in 2019 helped me to do that a bit more and I definitely wanted something similar but also that was wasn't as kind of chunky so it's nice those I can even just chuck the little books into my bag the next planner we're going to go through is my budget planner and I just ordered another deluxe monthly and I'm ashamed to admit have I done anything in this book yet? No. It is now the 8th of February and nothing has been done. Um, I'm not going to probably go through this because there's literally nothing in here. But I my first paycheck was at the end of January. So kind of a February budget. So I think I am going to do my January budget. Well, my February budget, sorry. Um, starting from February in here and just, yeah, go on with it. I think I need to start 
putting in time in my planner to actually budget and to reconcile my budget each week and I think from there it'll be really productive I really really want to up my budget game this year up my, my saving game I have got quite a big pay rise increase for my last job so I definitely have more to budget with which is exciting and I just need to be efficient with it so hopefully this book will help and I'm really excited I got a new little cover for it um not sure what all these covers are called but I will link the Erin Conjun website below I do have discount codes and coupon codes and things like that so if you are interested check below the next planner I'm going to go through and again this is not like a surprise if you've watched any of my hauls but I actually got the larger size of the Erin Condren Focused Planner. Um, now this is absolutely huge, so I don't even know how I'm gonna fit it all in the frame. Um, I haven't even filled this in yet, but I've been using for this for work and I've been loving it. So I haven't really filled in any of these dated things yet, but this is how I've kind of been using it. So no stickers, of course, no colors. It's literally just red and black. Um, I have been putting in my meetings at a glance when they come in so I know and I can just look and be like, okay, right on the 28th, I've got a meeting at this time. And then I've just been putting kind of general to-dos that need to be done without, I guess, a like a, a defined due date. So like... um. I don't know I needed to get my birthday date authorized off so that doesn't necessarily need to be done right now but it needs to be done by the end of the month so I've done that um I haven't really used anything else here I, I don't know what I would put and then for the pages I'll show you a, yeah this is a good week for example so this week I was really really busy I had to do a bunch of stuff and I use a lot of post-its so use that and then I just kind of do like a running to-do list for each day and then I put my meetings on the right hand side and that has really really been working out for me um this is what February looks like and then I just do a kind of squiggle on the days that are not included. And then like in red, I'll put, for example, like I go to Zumba every Tuesday. And I just put that down because I do leave work a little bit earlier. Um, you know, when I'm going to be off or my colleagues have got like, you know, annual leave, things like that. Um, and then, yeah, it's just kind of just a running to-do list of everything that I need to do. And then I just, you know, I can put in key dates and things like that. So this has really been working out for me. On the back pages, I don't know if I can show you. I've got okay <laughs> let's hope this doesn't show I'm gonna have to blur stuff out but on the back I just have um like a bunch of sticky notes that I can use and I have like a few passwords which I guess isn't the safest but hey um so yeah that is that I also wanted to say I don't know if anyone has any advice I feel like I've ruined the back of it but for some weird reason I accidentally must have got some pen on the back and it's kind of like ruined it and I tried to use like some rubbing alcohol to take it off but it kind of just looks like it's really dried out the leather so i mean it's not a big problem because it's at the back but yeah <laughs> i'm hoping i can get it out but i absolutely love this so far it looks really professional um and it has been really functional and helpful for me so that is my work planner now on to the most exciting part i have got my erin condren life planner and for those who haven't or those who have been watching my videos for a little while you will know that I've been banging on about the fact that I'm finally going to get a neutral planner and it's going to be the vertical, which I did buy. And I am happy to report I am loving it. Um, I have only been in it again for like a month, but I didn't plan for so many weeks. So I've literally just done a whole bunch of planning. Like I think I planned back planned four weeks in the space of like three days I just did one at night when I came back from work and it was so nice it's really therapeutic I think I'm I've got one more week to do that I'm currently doing and then I'm up to date and I will start filming them again so um yeah this is just a vertical neutral I've gone I've done I think I think I've done a flip through um I haven't set anything up yet I am planning on setting up kind of like the notes pages and things like that and recording them haven't liked this page to be honest with you I don't know what to do with it I mean I know that people print out pictures on their sprocket and put pictures down I don't know if that's something I want to do I feel like it's a lot of effort um but possibly if not I'm just going to be sticking these two pages together um again not even filled up my January but I have been loving this layout as you can see it looks incredible I loved this week I was able to use my simply gilded washi I'm kind of still finding my bearings with how I like things laid out, but I loved, this was the New Year's week. I decided not to do it in my other planner and to do it in this planner. So I glued um, the last week 
together because obviously there's still December in here so it was in the last planner as well but I just absolutely love this this was a new year's kit but it was kind of like a girly pink one which I really enjoyed and I've used washi from my simply gilded um subscription box and this was the week after super super cute I believe all of these kits I think this one might be from print petticoat bandit possibly oh I'm not really not sure I need to double check and then I think the rest are pretty much from planning choco um really really love these they're so nice i love i can finally use these little headers which is so exciting thick washi at the bottom um this was the week after love this blue kit and i just love that i'm able to use washi that matches now in like a coherent way i don't even know if you can see i'm gonna try and lift it up but that washi is can you guys see it's hollow it's really not showing up well on the camera but i do plan on uploading these spreads to my instagram account so definitely stay tuned and then the week after is so funny it's a pizza themed kit and i just fell in love i had pizza this week i hadn't had pizza for a long time and i was just looking through the week and trying to see what kit i was going to choose depending on what what i did and i saw the pizza i saw this kit and i was just like right done deal i've never done something this colorful before so that was nice um, and then the week after I, which was last week, I've just started planning. So I've got a really cute, like silver, um, washi tape from Simply Gilded. So I've just set, set it out, but I'm going to do the rest later on and I'll definitely post a picture. So yeah, that, and then just like last time, I've just got stickers in the back. That is pretty much my life planner. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today um, for my 2019 planner reflection stack review and my 2020 planner stack um, outline. I, for some reason, didn't record an outro, so I'm just um, doing a voiceover now. I will have more details in the coming weeks on how exactly I'll be setting up these planners um and a little bit more on sort of my budgeting as well so definitely stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye